Hello everyone, my name is Evie Lupine. Welcome back to my channel and today I have another video for you all. Today we are going to be doing a super old school video for this channel. If you guys were with me way back in the day, like five years ago, this is how I got started with making content on YouTube. We are going to be doing a pet play gear review. In particular, we're going to be talking about a company called The Kitten Collection on Etsy and looking at two of their vegan BDSM collars. And of course, as part of that, I am going to be unboxing the collars. I will be trying them on, giving my opinions about their construction, all of that good stuff. But before I get into talking about the collars themselves, I first want to discuss my experience purchasing from this company because I do think that is a really important part of the process when it comes to deciding where you want to spend your money. Now, they have no idea that I have purchased these collars at all. I paid for them with my own money. I'm not affiliated with the kitten collection in any way. I actually went out of my way to order them with a different Etsy account that is not in any way associated with my online presence to make sure that they didn't know that I personally was purchasing these items and I would get as realistic an experience as possible when it came to this whole process. And overall, I have been aware of the kitten collection for a very long time. I believe they started around like 2014, 2015, and I have been purchasing from them for a very long time. Back in the day when they were really popular still, I got ribbon collars from them. That was their first big thing that they used to make was ribbon collars. Those have since gotten less and less popular over the years because hey, trends change, fashion changes, all that good stuff. And now really what they make is mostly vegan leather collars. They also make other types of bondage equipment and they also make faux fur ears and some other little decorative odds and ends as it were. So they have definitely grown over the years made different things and I haven't actually purchased a vegan leather collar from them before so this will be a really interesting experience to see exactly you know how different it is you know four years ago versus today and I actually was planning on purchasing from them for quite a while. However, on December 16th, they went on vacation for Christmas, which is totally understandable because if you know anything about like working as an artisan, like most of these people work literally year round. And normally the time of year that we would be taking a break, like Christmas, Valentine's Day, etc., like these people are working around the clock even harder to get people's gifts out on time to fulfill Black Friday purchases, things like that. So totally understandable that you would want to actually be able to relax for yourself every once in a while. And it was sort of indeterminate <laughs> when they would be back. So I signed up on my email to be notified as soon as they were open again. And then on, I believe it was January 19th, they were open for business again. Now I had already taken some time to like browse their previous sales to kind of figure out what I wanted already. And at the time when I was on their Etsy page, they did have a notice that said it would take between two and three weeks before the order was shipped. So I was prepared to wait a while before I even got to the point where something was in the mail on the way to me. But I already had a pretty good idea of what I wanted. However, I did have a few questions. So I went ahead and sent a message asking about some details on the products. In particular, I was wondering how to size the collars correctly because different people that make collars kind of have different ways that they want to calculate the correct measurement for different collar styles. And also I had some questions about the material itself because these vegan leather collars and the reason why I was so drawn to them is because they're made out of a material called biothane, which is much more durable than other types of more commonly used vegan leather. It actually is supposed to feel very, very close to traditional leather. It's also waterproof. It doesn't grow mold on it. It doesn't retain smell. It has lots of advantages to using biothane. So I just wanted to double check like, hey, is this collar going to be fully waterproof? Like if I say, for example, want to wear it in the shower, is that something that I can do? And literally within 20 minutes of me sending that message, despite the fact that they had just opened and were probably experiencing a flood of messages, they sent me a very detailed response on how to measure everything correctly. And they told me that, yes, you could wear biothane in the shower. It 
it is waterproof. However, the metal components, because of the way that they are put together, could rust on the inside if they're worn in the water a lot. And I actually have a solution for that, which I will talk about later in this video. And I was so happy that I got a response from them right away that answered all of my questions. I was like, okay, great, that's everything I need. I'm gonna go ahead and place my order. Now, I did have to still measure my neck size because the particular size of collar and where it is placed on the neck is different from what I would normally purchase. So I have an 11 and a half inch neck if it's measured like right here at the center, but the collar style that I got is supposed to be worn a little bit lower on the neck. Now, it's adjustable, right? So you could wear it up here, you could wear it down here, even lower, maybe onto the décolletage <laughs> if you really wanted to, but I, I didn't really know like what that measurement was. And actually I don't have like a seamstress tape with me. So what I did is I took a shoelace and I measured it from end to end around my neck and then I put it against my like regular tape measure and I figured out my measurement that way and I went ahead and placed the order and because I wanted to have it fit a little bit lower kind of around the nape of my throat right here I went ahead and I added an extra like quarter inch to that measurement from just like straight up around my neck here on the bottom just let it hang down a little bit I didn't want something that was going to be too tight I didn't want something that was going to be super loose and especially for me like I really don't like it when collars are like super super tight because if you wear them for a long time they can get really itchy they can trap sweat underneath like you want to leave a little bit of room to breathe sort of like with a real dog's collar where you want to actually leave a little bit of breathing room right you want to be able to put a finger in there and be able to wiggle it around a little just so it's not like super super constrictive I guess unless you're like literally purchasing a posture collar in which case like the rules are gonna be a little bit different but that was my process for actually ordering everything again I wasn't expecting anything to happen for a couple of weeks and I ordered on January 19th. Now, I got a shipping notification on January 22nd. So, literally within three days, my order was finished and in the mail to me, and I got it on January 25th. So, I was just blown away. Like, in less than a week, six days, I ordered my collar, it was made, and I got it on my front doorstep. And especially with coronavirus and USPS, like, kind of being a little bit all over the place in terms of shipping times, like, I could not have asked for a better experience when it came to purchasing everything, the processing time, the manufacturing, but of course the proof is in the pudding and the real thing we all want to know about is, okay, like, but are these collars cute or not, right? Like, are they actually good or not? So let's go ahead and take a look at the collars. Now they did come in one of those flat rate, small USPS boxes that obviously had my shipping information on it. So I took it out of the box, but in the box, I did have these two cards. One is an informational little tag about biothane, so you know how to take care of it and just some fun facts about it. It's cleanable, durable, waterproof, good stuff. And they also have a little business card, which I will go ahead and zoom in on so you guys can take a look at that. And there is the business card. As you can see, very detailed, lots of information. And what I appreciate is they do say, if you're not 100% satisfied, to go ahead and send them a message and they are happy to take care of everything, which I think is really, really important. Like there are so many places on Etsy now where it's just like, it's flooded with like random sellers from like Russia or like Chinese drop shippers that are selling stuff that you would get on like Wish or like Alibaba or whatever. And they just like, they don't have that commitment to customer service. So I really appreciate it when they do go ahead and say like, hey, like we are here for you. We wanna make sure you have a good experience and let us know how we can do that. So enough rambling, let's go ahead look at the collars. Now, what I love about this is it's like packaged like a Christmas cracker, like it's all like wrapped up and everything. So that's fun if anybody knows about Christmas crackers in the US besides me. <laughs> You'll understand there's no jokes in here, I don't think, or a crown, but, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna try and show this on camera. Ooh, ah, okay, very nicely packaged on the inside, just what I would expect. I'm gonna take these out one at a time. Here's the first one. It's all in bubble wrap. Very, very nice. We love it when things are protected. There is a set of keys for the lock that this comes with. The bubble wrap is taped closed. And there we go. So this is three eighths of an inch. So it's a very 
narrow collar, as you can see. It's like maybe about as wide as my finger. Obviously, not everybody's taste. I really wanted something that was like light, delicate, easy to wear. Not like a, like a full on like bondage collar <laughs> sort of experience, just something like nice, fun, casual to wear around the house. You guys know how it is. Right away, this is just very, very shiny, super high quality, as you guys can see. Just look at that, so perfect. No fingerprints on it even, no smudges, no anything, just very, very nice. The material, I would say, does biothane feel like leather? I would say it feels like a very soft, worn-in leather. I have a lot of collars from a bondage shop called Von Bondage, and with leather collars in general, this is true, but generally, you have to wear them for a long time to have them be super comfortable and fit properly because they will actually like absorb the oils from your skin. They will be conditioned over time. If you use a leather conditioner on them, if you clean them and take care of them that way, they will get softer over time. But I have found with traditional leather collars, they can be kind of scratchy at first. They can be really rough and really firm. These are already like very like pliable, very soft as you can see. And it's, it's just, it's overall, it feels very soft in the hand. It feels like it's going to be comfortable, though it won't really be that much on my skin. This is definitely a good sign for like, maybe if you're thinking about ordering like a bigger collar a wider collar because they do offer a variety of styles in biothane besides just this little guy. So I don't really know <laughs> how to put this on. This is going to be an experience. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the lock. I think I'm going to unlock it and then y'all are going to see me <laughs> struggle trying to put this on and you're going to have a fun time laughing at me about that. Now the locks on these are not like obviously super ultra security locks. They're just like nice little fun casual locks and I will talk about an alternative if you want something like heavier duty in terms of a lock for one of these. All right, hair's going over here and I think I'm just gonna do this. This is very awkward. Okay, so there's a loop, right? You thread it through. Ah! I want you to have like a very realistic experience of what this is like trying to put it on yourself. Obviously, if you have a partner with you to help you do this, it's going to be different. It's going to be easier. All right. And then just click closed. There we go. Right away, this is exactly the placement that I wanted. And they did advise me to get that extra quarter of an inch if I wanted it to fit a little bit looser. And I think, I think it was 12 inches was the straight measurement. So I got 12.5 is what I got. Now I have... <laughs> A freakishly small neck. If this it gives you guys any information about like my body type and size as a person, like I do tend to be on the extra small side of life. So obviously most people probably gonna get a bigger size uh, than this, but they do offer a pretty wide range of sizes. And even if you're smaller than I am, if you have a very, very wide neck, a very like, like thick <laughs> muscular neck, even if maybe you are a male submissive or just somebody who wants to have some very nice BDSM fashion, they do also offer like custom sizes if you need something that's like bigger than what they traditionally offer and they've always been really good about that even years ago when i used to order from them i used to get custom stuff all the time very very simple so i really love the way that this fits the way that this looks i would almost i would almost want to get like another collar maybe that's like even even looser than this that's maybe like 12 and a half or like maybe 13 inches that really really sits low but this this feels really nice and the reason why i wanted it to sit here is i wanted to like feel the lock like on the hollow of my neck especially with the with the heart shape like there's this little point so i can kind of feel it on my throat like when my head goes down and i even though this is like a loose kind of like fun collar i like that sort of reminder kind of, if that makes sense. Like, it's just something where, you know, if you wear a watch all the time, right, like, you're eventually gonna not feel the watch anymore. But with this, I feel like if I move around a little bit, there's gonna be that kind of, like, subtle reminder of, like, something going into my skin a little bit that's like, oh, yeah, I'm wearing a collar. And I thought that would just be, like, a fun thing <laughs> to have as a feature. And I, I think this is really comfortable. You guys can see, like, you know, here's the, here's the two fingers, like I talked about earlier. Super comfortable. Okay, so this is the first collar. Let's go ahead and try out the second one. So... Here's the second collar. This one I was, I'm really, really excited about because they had a picture of this style of lock on the listing. 
but they didn't have it on the drop down menu. So one of the questions I asked them was like, is this particular lock still available? And they're like, oh, I don't know, let me check. And then they were like, oh yeah, we thought that the manufacturer wasn't making them anymore, but we do still have some, so we can go ahead and put that in the listing for you so you can purchase this. So not a guarantee that they will still have this particular lock when you go if you wanna buy something like this. And I've never actually owned a collar like this before that is this particular color. It is purple with black hardware and a black lock. So let me go ahead and show you guys what this looks like up close. All right, there it is, there's the purple. There's the black. It's definitely more of a, a bluish purple instead of a red purple. It is a very dark color. And I am noticing in particular on this one, you can kind of see the texture on the biothane. It's not really like a leather texture, but it does have a texture to it, if you guys can see that. And again, it's a little bit more of a matte finish. It's not as shiny as the silver lock is, which can be good because then you're not gonna get like fingerprints all over it or makeup or things like that. Or at least it's not gonna be as noticeable, which can be an advantage for some people. And really quickly before I try this on, I do wanna point out that the keys on this are different. They have different teeth to them. They're more like like a proper lock and key set than like the other one, which is just like one tooth and then you just flip it over and that's it. So this one is a little bit more of a security lock, could be harder to pick. And then obviously even more important that you keep the keys around. So let's go ahead and try this bad boy on. All right, here is the purple and black collar. There we go, there we go. Okay, if you're trying to put this on yourself, I definitely recommend doing it in a mirror. Otherwise you end up like me, especially with my pale skin. Everything is just all, all red from scratching around. But I think this is really cute, obviously. I'm very purple today because I, purple and black is just, they're my, it's my favorite. This one, it doesn't have the same like point at the bottom of the heart does, so it's not as like weighty, but I also really like this. Again, super comfortable, fit is, is really, really good, and I love it. It's, it's, it's great. These are exactly what I wanted, really, and I think they're going to last me for a, really long time. Now, I did mention locks, so let's go ahead and talk about that really quickly because these are obviously not very high security locks, so what are the alternatives if you want something that's a little bit more like heavy duty, can be worn every single day in the shower without the same kind of risk of rusting, especially on the lock mechanism. There is a company that's also on Etsy called To Be His, I have never personally ordered from them, but I know many, many people that have that are very, very happy with what they have purchased from them. And they make like quality handmade <laughs> locks in just about any size you could possibly imagine. And all of their locks, most of their colors and designs are designed for daily wear in the water, shower, swimming pool, whatever it is that you expose it to, it's designed to withstand that. So if you want a more permanent lock, something that is going to last you for a really long time, I would maybe look at getting a replacement lock from a place like To Be His. Now, obviously the width of the lock, the size of the lock is going to change how this fits around your neck. So if you try to get a lock that's like smaller than what the collar was designed for, it's gonna fit tighter. If you get one that's a lot bigger and wider, it might not fit through the loops or it might be very loose as well. So you might wanna like actually measure out like the width of the actual loop on the lock to make sure you're getting something that's like a similar size to retain that fit and make sure it's actually going to be able to replace the lock that is on here. Now that won't necessarily do anything about grommets, the findings on the sides of the collar as well. I was not really told that those were at risk for rusting. It was like the lock mechanism on the inside in particular that could get rusty from that water exposure. So these parts might be a little bit more resilient than the lock part. Although obviously again, there's no way to replace those on this collar. It would just be fixing the lock and maybe having a little bit more longevity on that side. Or maybe you lose the lock, you want a better replacement, that kind of thing. All options for this 
collar or collars like this. And that is everything that I really have to share about this experience. Overall, I was very pleased with the whole process. I really enjoyed how these came out and I can see myself wearing them very often and enjoying them and just seeing how they last over time. And I am fairly confident that they will hold up to my standards there. Now, one question that I do have for you all, would you be interested in seeing a vegan bondage set review because I know that they have things like cuffs and hogtie clips and leashes and other restraints that they also make in biothane. So I could do a whole review of some of their vegan bondage equipment besides just collars like this one. If you guys want to see that, go ahead and put it down in the comment section below because I know I have gotten lots of questions from you all over the years on my recommendations for vegan bondage equipment. And I think just based on the quality of this, I would be very confident going into a review of some of those additional products. And yeah, that's everything I have to say about this one. If you guys like this video, if you haven't already, please do subscribe because I make videos twice a week about all sorts of kink and BDSM related content. And if you really enjoyed this, if you want to support what I do, the best way that you can do that is through Patreon. A link to that will be down in the description box below. That is what allows me to make videos like this one, as well as offer you guys extra perks and rewards, things like Discord chat, monthly photo shoots, extra videos, all sorts of fun things over on Patreon, things that I can't talk about over here on YouTube. We are currently also doing a 1000 patron extravaganza. So if you guys want to help me reach that goal, you can also go ahead and check that out. Basically, I am working my way up to a thousand patrons. And when I reach that goal, we're going to be doing a bunch of like fun new content that will keep going for as long as I have 1000 patrons on Patreon. But that is everything. That is enough <laughs> of a pitch for today. I think if you already support me over there, thank you so, so much. It means the absolute world to me. And until I see you guys next time, I hope you have a great Easter day and a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.